Hey, Upstreet. All right, get ready. I'm gonna start you off strong today with an all skate game. We're about to play Face the Facts. In just a second, we're going to stand up and I'll read a question and give you two possible answers. You'll then either face your whole body to the left or your whole body to the right, depending on which answer you think is correct. Super simple, right? Let's get started. On your feet. Okay, question number one. Who was the second president of the United States? Turn your whole body to the left if you think the answer is George Washington, or turn your whole body to the right if you think your answer is John Adams. And the answer is John Adams, yes. Okay, question number two. Who gave the famous I have a dream speech? Martin Luther King Jr. or Rosa Parks? Turn left for Martin Luther King Jr. or turn right for Rosa Parks? And the answer is Martin Luther King Jr., correct. Okay, now for some general US history questions. What year did Christopher Columbus sail the ocean blue? Was it 1492 or 1942? Turn left for 1492 or turn right for 1942? And the answer is 1492, correct. Okay, one more. What day do we celebrate America's birthday? I'll give you a big hint, fireworks. Turn left for the 4th of July or turn right for February 29th. And the answer is yes, July 4th. The day we all wear red, white, and orange. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. I know it's blue. Nice job, everyone. We got some Smarties in the house, but there's still one last question for you. How do you know if any of your answers were right? You can't say school, because you don't know if your teachers were right, or your history books. How do we know anything from history actually happened? Well, I'm kind of blowing my own mind here. I better stop before this gets too deep. <laughs> Thanks for playing Face the Facts. That was fun, you guys really know your history. But for real, that game kind of left us in an awkward spot because how do we know John Adams was our second president? Like, were you there? No, of course not. I wasn't there, we didn't see it, we weren't even born yet. But we believe it's true, right? Just like we believe that Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Were you there? No, did you see it? No, but someone else was there and they wrote it down so years later we could read about it in our school books and know it was true. Now, think about this. There's another guy from history we talk about here on Upstreet. His name is Jesus. Have you ever seen him? No. But do we believe he's real? Yes. And the reason we believe Jesus is real is the same reason we believe anything about history. Someone saw him do amazing things, someone talked about it, and someone wrote it down. So. Who saw Jesus? Who wrote it down for us? Well, have you ever heard of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Guys, say hello. These guys were alive when Jesus was alive. In fact, Matthew and John, you guys wave. Yeah, they were friends with Jesus and saw him do all the things we learn about on Upstreet. And Luke and Mark, you guys raise your hands too. Yeah, they talked to people who were there when Jesus was teaching and they heard about all these amazing miracles Jesus did and wrote it down so years later, we could read about it in our Bible. Now, you guys know the part of the Bible these guys wrote? You might never guess. They wrote the books called Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> so creative. <laughs> but these men that wrote about Jesus, they were just regular guys. Matthew, he was a tax collector. He took money from people and gave it to the government. Now, he might not have been a really popular guy because he took people's money away, but Jesus picked him as one of his closest friends. And John, he was a fisherman. He worked with fish all day, so he didn't have a background in writing books, you know? But again, Jesus picked him to be one of his closest friends too. And Mark, well, we don't know what his job was, but. We know he wrote down a lot of what people told him they learned from Jesus or saw him do. And Luke was a doctor. 
Both Luke and Mark were so fascinated by Jesus and what he did that they knew they had to write about it. Now, you guys wrote down some pretty amazing things that Jesus did, didn't you? Luke, why don't you start? Yeah, so I'm Luke, and I talked to people who were fishermen in the boat one day when Jesus came down by the shore. The fishermen said they'd been fishing all night long without catching a single fish. But then Jesus told them to put their nets in the water. And the guys were like, nets in the water? But there's no fish. But guess what? Those guys in the boat trusted Jesus, and when they pulled their nets up, there were tons of fish, so many that they broke their nets. They could not even get them all in the boat. It was so amazing. I bet it was. Well, what did people say when they heard that you wanted to write down things that Jesus did? Yeah, well, they were so amazed by this unbelievable miracle with the fish that when they told me, they were like, wow, write that down. That's awesome, and I think I would have said the exact same thing. In fact, let's all say it together. Wow, right back down. And uh, Mark, why don't you go next? Sure thing. I talked to people who were in the crowd around Jesus when all of a sudden this blind man started shouting, Jesus, help me, Jesus, I wanna see. And, and right there in, in front of everybody, Jesus healed him. This man who had been blind for years could suddenly see. Talk about amazing. Everyone who was there was like, I think I know where you're going with that and I think we can say it together. Wow, wow. Write, write that, that down. down. So I wrote it down and put it in my book. I bet you did, how could you not? That's an incredible thing that Jesus did. Now, there were some things that all four of you wrote down because they were just that incredible. Matthew, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I think this one we all wrote down because uh, uh, it was like so cool when Jesus fed that huge crowd. Yeah. You hear about that? Yeah. You remember? Yeah. That one. yeah, so Jesus was teaching this like really huge crowd of people when all of a sudden they like all got hungry. Yeah. And remember when we all thought the crowd was going to get so angry with us because they hadn't eaten all day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Jesus took this one small lunch. It's like a, a teeny tiny lunch from one person. And then he multiplied it and it fed more than 5,000 people. What? I mean, come on, more than 5,000 people? Isn't that amazing? And I'm sure everyone was like, Wow, wow. Write, write that, that down. down. And they did, they all wrote it down. Because when you see something that amazing, you have to tell someone, you have to write it down. But there was something else that happened, something sad that all of them wrote down. It happened in Jerusalem where Jesus was teaching and living and doing all these miracles. One night, Jesus was arrested, which was crazy because Jesus had not done anything wrong. But he was put on trial and he died. It was terrible. All of his friends saw Jesus die that day and they saw Jesus buried. Now, honestly, a lot of these guys thought that the story was over. And I gotta tell you, if the story had ended there, we might not be talking about Jesus today. We might not even have churches or even the books Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible because they wouldn't have written the story down if it ended there. But was the story over? Not at all. Yeah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all wrote that three days later- Jesus came back to life. Yeah, he did, he did, he was alive. Yeah, all four of these guys wrote that, say it with me, Jesus is alive. He proved that he was bigger than death and everyone who saw him believed. And it was an incredible thing that happened in history. But John wrote something really special. John, can you tell us a little bit about that? After Jesus came back to life, I was with my friends. Matthew was there and everyone was so happy that Jesus was alive. But Jesus said something to us that was so cool. He said, you guys, you believe because you've seen me, but God is so pleased when people who have not seen me believe in me. You know who Jesus was talking about? You and me and all of us, because have we seen him? No but you can believe in Jesus even though you can't see him. That's faith. We can't see Jesus face to face, but we do have all of this evidence, all of this history, all of these people who were there, who did see and who did write it down so that we can have faith. 
you can believe in Jesus even though you can't see him. Jesus walked and talked and lived on earth. Jesus died and came back to life so that we could have a relationship with God forever. It's history. And you can believe and have confidence that it's true. Jesus said that it's better to believe by faith even though you can't see. You can believe in Jesus even though you can't see him. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. And thank you that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote down some of what he said and did so that we can learn from it. Help us to have confidence to believe even though we can't see. Amen.